ChatGPT5, AGI, human-like intelligence. When will we expect this? Well, according to this research paper, we might be closer than you think. Now, let's go ahead and deep dive what exactly is going on. Now, according to this research paper, they put ChatGPT4, as well as other AI models, against humans to determine whether or not ChatGPT4 can match up with the same thought process and brains as a regular human person. And well, the results will shock you. Make sure you watch till the very end to see exactly what happened. Now, before we get into that, I want to explain what this thing is called a Turing test. And why am I showcasing this to you? Well, essentially, this test back in the 1950s when it was created by Alan Turing is essentially, in short, a test to determine whether or not you are a human or a robot, aka AI or a machine. Now, essentially, how does this work? Well, you can see from this image right now, essentially player C is the interrogator. And his goal is to determine whether player A or B is a computer or a human. Now, for most people, at least back in the 1950s, this probably might have been something quite easy to determine, seeing that the technology definitely was not anywhere close to what it is today. Fast forward to current present time, well, it is definitely harder to determine whether or not something was programmed by AI or it was simply a human behind it. Now, here is one of the tests that they put the AI through. And this is designed easy for humans to figure out versus for AI, it is not as easy. And let's start off with this left option right here, this blue and red square. And essentially, take a look at the three examples and I'll let you figure it out on your own. And then we can see the test input. Now, what is the answer to this problem? Well, if we were to look at this, we'll notice a pattern where the blue goes this way, red goes down. Red goes down again, the blue goes back up. Same thing here, blue goes up, red goes down. So if that is the same pattern, at least from here, and if I am correct, I would assume blue goes back up and red comes back down. Now again, definitely can't confirm in the comments if you know for sure, but from just a quick similar pattern, that is what I have personally noticed. Next up is this option over here on the left, and we can see it is all the same shape, but then we can see we have these different colors over here. So what it looks like, at least from first glance, is that there's three different colors, and essentially, in terms of which one is the color, at least right now, I'm not noticing any quick patterns, but I do notice that there are three colors every single time they have a different output. So I'd assume this would be a similar response as well. And then you can see we have this last option here, and essentially it has blue squares with tiny red ones in them, and then it showcases a zoomed in version of one from each of these sections. Now, from first glance, it might be something that most of us might not notice, but what I did realize is out of this first section, and this one and this one, they all have the same pattern. Now, I'm not gonna take the answer at least right now yet. I'll let you actually go ahead and take a look at this. And then let me know if you can figure out the answer. If not, you can pause the video. But what I've noticed here is simply for options one, two, and three, if you were to count how many red squares are in each of the blue, it looks like it has resulted in the one with the most. So for this first one, this has clearly two, four, six, which is more than these two. We go to this one, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Looks like it is the most in that particular example. And this one, two, four, six, eight. And from just first glancing, this one's two, four, six. Yep, so this one has the most. So if you were to do the same here, let's see, two, four, six here, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, so this clearly would probably be this one, assuming my analysis is correct. And that would be the pattern that I have recognized. And as you can see, these are just some of the examples of how they were testing this. Now, 
for most of us, if we just sat here for a few minutes, we probably could figure out at least majority of questions similar to this. However, if you're an AI, how do you even know where to begin? Let it know what is actually being asked here. And three, what do you do if you think you know the answer, but if you don't have any data behind recognizing certain patterns or seeing something completely unknown, it might be very difficult. But as of right now, let's go see what actually happened when the AI went through these tests. So here is the results of some of the problems. So this one is the first place program in the Kaggle challenge only solved 21% of the 100 hidden tasks. And essentially an assemble of the first and second place program solved about 31%. Now, this is some of the programs, but let's continue looking at some of the results specifically towards ChatGPT. So here is the actual data that we can see now comparing humans, which we see here on the left side column with our Kaggle programs. And these are the top two scoring ones. And then we have GPT-4 on the far right column. And if you were to look at the humans numbers, you can see that a lot of them are in the 0.9 and around the high 0.8s. Then we can see the Arcaggle first place. Majority, it looks like averaging anywhere from 0.5 to 0.7. Second place, significantly lower with many different variations, anywhere from 0.1 to 0.03 to pretty much up to 0.4 plus and even 0.5. But then we have GPT-4 and these numbers do not look that great with lowing as 0.03, we have 0 0.07, 0 0.13, 0 0.17, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and you can get the picture here. Essentially GPT-4 for this particular test did not do very well compared to the humans. Now, quick background on this particular one is that out of the 16 concept groups, they contain 10 tasks. And each of these include three unique test inputs that totals up to 30 test inputs per concept. And both the humans and the machine solvers are allowed three guesses for each test inputs. And a solver, human or machine, they are considered correct on a test input if one of the three guesses is correct. So you have three chances to take a guess. And even if you get one of them correct, then you are essentially correct. Now with that in mind, if you had three chances to answer a question on a test, do you feel confident that you would get a pretty high score? I would say so, myself at least. But if you're an AI, you might not even know whether or not your answer is correct or wrong obviously if you don't have any data and two is you're simply an ai you might not understand the actual point of the test well from the data you just saw clearly at least as of today the current versions or when this paper was written which was back in may so now let's take a look at some of their details regarding the gpt for testing now if you are not familiar OpenAI created ChatGPT, very famous, and GPT-4 currently is their paid premium version. And when it first originally came out, it was quite powerful, but after regulations and obviously having to change up some of the responses and things you can ask it, I personally feel like it has decreased in quality depending on your use case. Now, let's take a look at what they've said here. So here is just discovering what they did in order to test this next thing you're about to see. And what they did is obviously they have the API provided by OpenAI and they have prompts, they have a system and a user components. And with the system, they are providing a general instructions and they probably model towards certain behaviors and the user components for dialogue inputs. And they use the prompt structure, similar to the one in the figure by 36 in figure three. So here we can see is figure three. And basically, let's take a look. We have this image again, similar to the stuff we saw earlier. System says, you are a helpful assistant that solves analogy making puzzles. Only give the answer, no other words or text. And the user says, let's try to compute the patterns. And it shows inputs with a bunch of different numbers, outputs, inputs, outputs, inputs, outputs. Now, according to this, I'm not 100% on the actual answer right now, but 
it looks like based off of at least this outputs it is showcasing it row by row so let's take a look at what that actually is and basically we can look at the answer and what it's saying is in every case gpt's response was in the correct format for the outputs but what they state here is the errors that were made were true mistakes which means essentially it's not an actual improperly formatted correct answer but it was truly a wrong answer so in short based off of this particular test right here ChatGPT just seemed to not be able to figure it out so now taking this back to humans versus machine well let's take a look at some of these numbers they state again humans over 90 percent average accuracy out of the 11 of 16 concepts 80 percent of those on the five concepts remaining and then in contrast the first place program never scored above 80 percent on any concept and 11 out of 16 is accuracy was below 60 percent now here's where we get to the second place a little bit lower and then ChatGPT 4 the performance was impressive that they stated was not designed to train on such tasks but it had an accuracy below 30 percent on 15 out of 16 concepts it scored 33 percent accuracy on one concept and in short what does this mean well for some of the programs obviously they did better but with an ai at least right now not being trained on specifics of whatever they're working on it seems that the accuracy at least for this particular test is showcasing that ai is still not at that agi human like level but again this is gpt4 what happens if gpt5 comes out and it absolutely destroys this test or any of these ai tests that are clearly not at that level yet then maybe could we reach agi human like intelligence well that's what a lot of people are predicting and i myself if it is levels above gpt4 then we definitely might be able to see signs of that but for now we'll just have to wait and see so if you want to see the latest updates in the ice space be sure to hit that like button and subscribe